What's up everyone, thanks for joining me on this video on my Street Stunts gaming channel. I know it's been a little while since I've done a gaming video. Been busy doing parkour videos on my other channels because it's summer and this is the prime time for it. But I think my Street Stunts gaming channel will definitely pick up um, as it gets colder and over the winter because it's harder to do as much parkour and filming and things like that. But anyways, what I wanted to talk about in this video, because it's something I'm really interested in and passionate about, is Spider-Man. In gaming specifically, and even more specifically, the web swinging mechanic, <clears throat> the web swinging mechanic in Spider-Man games. Now, for those of you who are old enough to remember the original Spider-Man 2 game based on the movie, it was awesome. For its time, it was an amazing Spider-Man game. One of the best, just so revolutionary in the way you could be Spider-Man. It's really a big part of what inspired me in wanting to be able to move like Spider-Man, was playing that video game, just climbing to the top of a building in this open world city of New York, and then diving off of it, shooting a web, swinging, and then the cool mechanic of shooting multiple webs from both hands, Oh, it was just so amazing. The funnest experience I could even describe as a young child wishing he could be Spider-Man. Wishing I could be Spider-Man as a kid. That was the closest way I could come. Until later, years later, I would discover parkour and realize there's a more realistic, practical way I could do Spider-Man-like things just without the superpowers. So... <laughs> I'm, as, as you can see, I'm a big fan of the Spider-Man games, and I've played almost every Spider-Man game since then, and enjoy almost all the Spider-Man games. Some de are definitely better than others. I've been a fan of the Ultimate Spider-Man game, and also Web of Shadows. Um, I enjoyed the Amazing Spider-Man game and the Amazing Spider-Man 2 game, but they, they just didn't... I, I felt like my fandom for Spider-Man games started dying with those two games and even some of the previous games because none of them lived up to the true web-swinging potential that the original Spider-Man 2 game had. And I wanted to talk about why the web-swinging in that game was so great. Um, and a lot of people will say things like the web-swinging has gotten better in some ways, but I think it depends on who's playing it. For me, I'm very because I'm so like movement based and everything because I do parkour when I play a game I want it to feel realistic I want it to feel like I'm actually Spider-Man swinging through a city and I'm actually controlling that I'm not just pressing a button and Spider-Man's automatically swinging through the city that's what I didn't like about the Amazing Spider-Man and the Amazing Spider-Man 2 games is it felt very automated where you just kinda held the button and Spider-Man did the swinging automatically and you could kind of control which direction he's going but it just felt very limited and what makes web swinging great is when you feel like you're controlling that mechanic where you're Spider-Man controlling when you're shooting the web how long you're holding on that swing for when you release things like that and Spider-Man 2 was like a sandbox when it came to web swinging. You could literally swing in all sorts of different directions. You could s start swinging really fast as you upgraded your web swinging capabilities and it just was all around super fun to play. Now it wasn't completely physics based. There's, it obviously wasn't very realistic in some aspects. Um, but that was made up for in how much control you had of the web swings. And now I wanted to talk about the newest Spider-Man 4 game coming out from the gameplay footage we've been able to see. It looks like it'll have some some pretty good physics-based web swinging, but there's a couple things about it that just really make me feel like it it won't be as fun as the original Spider-Man 2 game. It still looks like it'll be the best web swinging game yet since that game, but I don't know if it'll be as fun and here's the reason why is because when you're swinging a web as Spider-Man it's not just about it being physics based like that's really important and that's good but it has to have the feeling of being able to control how you shoot your webs how you swing and how big of a swing and arc you can create now, as you can see as he's swinging you know he has a decent bit of uh, momentum going and the physics look pretty good but every time he shoots a web, if you notice, 
the web shoots almost straight up, maybe slightly forward, but by the time the web actually attaches, Spider-Man's already past that point and swinging on the upswing of his arc. Now what that means is that you're only ever swinging forward and up. In every sw swing I've seen in gameplay footage, he's only ever swinging forward and up on the second half of that arc of the swing. Whereas if you think about the movies, uh, the original Spider-Man movie trilogy with uh, Tobey Maguire, what made some of the swinging in that movie awesome is that you'd see him shoot a web out in front of him really high uh, in the middle of all these skyscrapers and then fall, like fall with this swing and he's falling and falling doing this huge arc until he's swinging next to the cars on street level, swinging in between them and then he's generated all this speed and then starts swinging upward with all this power and height so he's getting this huge amazing swing almost like flying and it was just so cool to see that in a movie, see that happen. And you also capture some of that feeling in the original Spider-Man 2 game, because if you notice, you in that game can also get very huge arcs, full arcs, starting from a top swing, shooting the web forward, and then doing a nice big arc swing, and just getting that speed and power that comes from a nice big swing like that. Um, and that's what made the swinging so much fun, or one of the aspects that made it fun, but that's missing, at least so far, it's missing from the gameplay aspects of the newest Spider-Man game coming out. All you see is the web shooting straight up, and then he does a short little arc, second half of the arc, and, and that's it. Now, granted, we've had only a limited amount of actual gameplay of the web swinging, so it's possible that it gets better, they improve upon it, and it's possible that they add upgrades that allow it to uh, swing faster by shooting the web farther forward so he does bigger arcs in his swings. That's what I really want in a Spider-Man game. I just feel like it would be so much fun to just do a huge swing where you're at like the top you're, you're at the top of a building, skyscraper level, shooting a web way out in front of you and then just falling, falling, getting this huge swing, generating all this momentum. That's what a Spider-Man game needs, and no Spider-Man game has really gotten it down. Spider-Man 2, the game was the closest um, with doing that, but it still wasn't completely physics-based, but for its time, it's definitely the best web swinging we've had. I think this game, the newest one coming out for PS4, can do that, but it's hard to say completely because it just hasn't shown us having that ability. And, and maybe they'll show us more and show that you really can get these awesome swings as you upgrade. I heard it was confirmed that there will be upgrades to the swinging ability, and so I can only hope that the swinging will be as awesome or more awesome than that game because it's physics based and as long as they get the mechanics right for how far forward your web shoots and swings um, and getting those big arcs in your swings that will make the game for the, I'll buy, I don't have a PS4 but if the web swinging were like that I would buy a PS4 just to play that Spider-Man game just to do the web swinging. <laughs> all the other stuff about that game, you know, looks awesome. Some of the combat seems really cool, but all I really care about is amazing web swinging physics because that's what I play a Spider-Man game for. I can play a Batman Arkham Knight game for the cool Batman combat, you know, being a superhero and exploring the city, fighting crime, but why I, but the reason I would play a Spider-Man game is purely for the web swinging mechanic and everything else is bonus. But if you don't get the web swinging mechanic right, then I just don't know if I can play another Spider-Man game because I've, I'm tired of just playing mediocre Spider-Man games and I just want something that fulfills that childhood feeling of first playing that Spider-Man 2 game that was just so much fun. Um, that I actually downloaded an emulator to play it um, properly and that's how I actually have this footage that I'm showing you throughout this video and, and even playing it again I, it's just fun to play it's fun to control it and do the different controls and uh, anyways now I'm just rambling on <laughs> I just wanted to let you guys know in my opinion what makes 
the web swinging mechanic great in a Spider-Man game and what they need to do um, for future Spider-Man games and let's hope they do that for the newest one coming out and if they do I'll buy a PS4 and show you my own gameplay review of the Spider-Man swinging mechanic but if it appears they don't I just don't know if I can justify buying a PS4 at this time and we'll just have to stick to PC gaming so anyways that's all for now let me know your thoughts on the Spider-Man web swinging mechanic and just any thoughts you have in general on the upcoming Spider-Man game. I do think it looks like a lot of fun and I would be excited to play it. It'll just be, we'll just have to see if I end up buying a PS4 just to play that game or not. So anyways, once again, thank you for watching this video and let me know in the comments what you think and if you have any suggestions for future gaming videos and thanks for watching everyone.